Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Indiana State Baseball opening up the horn portion of their season at Bob Warren Field against Illinois. Sycamore's looking for their fifth straight win and to improve to 12-3 and three on the season. Adam Berghorst got the ball to start for ISU. Here he gets a swing and a missed strikeout to end the first inning as ISU trails 1-0 after one. Top of the second, Sycamore's get a ground ball. Randall Diaz flips it to Josue Erdineta for the first out at second, but the throw to first is offline. Grant McGill backs up the play. He's going to throw a seed to second base to to complete the unconventional double play and keep ISU within a run. It was Jared Spencer time shortly after that. Check out the nasty off-speed pitch by the left-hander to get his first strikeout on the afternoon. But it was the Illini getting the big hit early on as Brody Harding connects, sends one deep to right field. It gets out of here in a hurry for a three-run home run. Illinois takes a 4-0 lead in the ballgame. Indiana State trailed 6-1 to one entering the bottom of the seventh. But like so many times during the magical run last season, the Sycamore got some late inning magic. First, Grant McGill teeing off, sending one deep to center. It is gone for his first long ball of the season. That gets ISU within three at 6-3. Same inning, Dom Litzy is going to bloop one into shallow left for an RBI single. Randall Diaz comes around to score to make it a 6-4 ball game. Then later on in that inning, Mike Sears delivers in the clutch. Two on, down two runs. Sears crushes the 2-0 pitch on a line deep to center. It's going to get over the wall and into the tree for a go-ahead three-run home run to give Indiana State a 7-6 lead. It's Sears' fourth homer in his last four games. The Sycamores score six in the bottom of the seventh to come back and stun Illinois in the home opener, winning 7-6. ISU improves to 12-3 on the season with their fifth straight win. Sycamores hit the road this weekend for a three-game series against the Xavier Musketeers. 